trust in my self-righteous suicide. I cry when angels deserve to die. <clears throat> so, anyways, uh, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to Direwolf 1.16. Last episode, guys, we made this amazing-looking villager trading hall that, if I'm being honest, we didn't really do a whole lot of progress other than build this. Like, this building here was, like, I think my fifth try at this. Yeah, so... I'm going to be kind of revamping this just a little bit. It's going to look very similar to this, uh, but all of them have switched over to be in the pressure mechanics here, which is amazing. So we'll be able to get those really neato Toledo printed circuit boards. So yeah, but uh, you know, I said this is going to look like a skyscraper building. So I've been working on the next building over here, which is going to be our pneumatic craft building. And I've been using these reinforced bricks, uh, the tiles instead of the actual bricks. I'm sorry, not the bricks. But uh, these guys, and I'm going to be using the treated wood from Immersive Engineering to kind of spice it up a little bit, you know what I mean? And But I, I'm really liking it. I'm going to go ahead and kind of chisel these corner blocks a little bit more. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's going to look cool. We're probably going to build that on a live stream, so be on the lookout. So be on the lookout for that. That's going to be pretty neato. Um... But yeah, so we're going to be getting into finalizing the auto-processing today, slash auto-crafting, because, yeah, this looks oogly, you know what I mean? Just look, I have things everywhere. I have a dye mixer here, which is amazing, by the way, I love it. We have this guy here, we got this guy here, I've been smelling up some of the, the cacti to go ahead and, and get us some of the green dye, yep, and... We can make any dye color that we want with this with this setup. Super duper neato. As you can see, we're making yellow dye. I don't know why I made sunflowers over there. We can just make yellow dye. But do not question my genius, okay? So, what do we need to do today? That's the main question, right? Well, we need to go ahead and get our auto crafters, the molecular assemblers, and ME interfaces all connected up. So we're probably going to have to create a separate channel. And I've been thinking about taking these ME controller blocks and wrapping them all the way around. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, so we might are above here, above this chesticle. So we might have to kind of wrap it here like so. And I don't know if that's going to look good because there's really no block that works really well with this or looks like this at all. Like, I would like to put it here and use chisel and bits. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research into what might look good with this. They're having a meeting, guys. They've become aware that I've been killing these guys because they're very annoying. Llama. And that's Greg over there. He's kind of the outcast of the group. He likes wearing his mask in his own car by himself. So these guys think he's weird. All right, so first upgrade of the episode, we're going to be going ahead and upgrading the iron jetpack here. Uh, I made this off camera for the suggestion of you guys, but we definitely need to upgrade it. So to upgrade it up to the gold tier, pretty simple. Um, wow, that's really simple. We just need two of these, okay. And then we need this and the jetpack here, perfect, all right. And then for the next tier up, diamonds. Okay, to make this guy super duper easy. All right, let's throw the jetpack in here. Diamond jetpack is our emerald one. No, there's a netherite jetpack. Holy heck, Batman. Good thing we got netherite. So. Use is here. Bam. There we go. Netherite jetpack. Should be all but done. Yep. There we go. Netherite jetpack. What are you used for? We fit the limit. Oh, but. Oh, this is neat. This is telling us the perks that we can put onto it. Block reach. Interesting. No replacement for displacement. Okay, so we need to go ahead and craft up netherite armor. Yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Smithing table. No problemo. All right. Combine these guys together, and we have a netherite jetpack. Very cool. We're out of power. Um, there should actually be a way. Well, we need to get the charge pad over here. 
but a bad. Uh, oh, I got an idea. Yoink! Let's just put the charge pad like right here. Wow, that's draining power quick. I'm gonna be here for a little bit. All right, so the jetpack is fully charged here. Oh, this isn't fully charged. Uh, reason why this one isn't fully charged is because of the limit. Um, like this charged way quicker than this guy because this one has a faster <clears throat> buffer at which it can receive power, but it still charges up pretty quick when we have it attached to the reactor, so that's good. All right, but let's throw this bad boy on. All right. I need to enable it. All right, simply jetpacks here. Toggle jetpack engine. We're going to set it to decimal. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Let's test the speed. Hover. Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. And we're not losing, like, any altitude whatsoever. Wait. We are, but it's very, very slow. And this thing, oh, my gosh, is so quick. I love it. That is such a good upgrade. But it used half. It uses half. So, hover. Look how quick it's using our power. We need... We need a better solution. Um, I believe if we come back here, we should... Yes. Um, there should be an option for wireless charging, right? Oh, enable wireless. Maybe. Okay. Main hand. Is this getting charged now? No. Not sure what that's all about, but I do know... That there's something from power that, that that charges our inventory. Yeah, I believe these player transmitters do it for us. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Um, we're going to need player. Use an aerial pearl on a zombie or husk. Aerial pearl. Okay. Let's get a few of these guys. Everything's spawning in now. Okay, we got some zombies over here. That's going to take some getting used to. So click. Okay, we got it. Click. Got it. Click. Got it. Ooh, out. Baby zombie. Yeah, got him. All right. Oh, holy crap, guys. This is amazing. Oh, jeez. I freaking love it, but it's going to make it really difficult to do anything. Okay. So we got that made up here. Um... These ro oh, yep, we need to make more of these guys, huh? The paste. I clicked it. I double-clicked. Do you hear how quick I double-clicked? Too fast. Too furious. Don't worry, getting clay now is super-duper easy. Okay. So, let's see here. Yep, we got that. All right, the next tier up. Got that. All right, tier after that. Got that. This looks like 8,000 FE per tick. I don't know if that's good enough yet. Is this what we have? Nope, that's the one. That's the tier we're using. And then we don't have any of these guys. Can we make some? We sure can. Cool. Okay. So, player transmitter should be good to go. Um, hmm. Do I just need, like, a flux point connected to this? Because I got a few of them. Let's try it out. All right, so flux point here. Okay, it's looking for a card. Binding card, blank card. Maybe we need to throw that in? Probably need to do the binding card. Right, click to bind. Okay, it's bound to me. And shebang. Throw a hover on, fly up top. Look at that. So I don't think it's it, it's using too much power, but as soon let's wait till we hit the ground. Man, that's using so much. Boom, back up to full power. Why aren't you charging, though? 
Weird, but it won't charge when it's active. Okay, so this is cool. Gonna go ahead, and we have some space. Whoa, shoot. <laughs> I forgot Hover was on. We got some space down here, and this is kind of what I wanted this space to be used for. So we have a flux point, have this guy, throw this here, and we have enough room for it. We're going to put like the, our wireless access terminal down here eventually. So yeah, but this is charging us up. We don't have to go back to the charger anymore to use that. Um, so yeah, that is an amazing thing that we have just accomplished. Now we are going to have to go ahead and get up into the, the max tier here in order to support our jetpack but that shouldn't be too much of a problem oh yeah it is we'll have to worry about that later so getting on to the auto crafting that we wanted to do today uh we're gonna need to make up some dense me cable all right and so step one what do we need for here we need some more fluix crystals okay we need to find, I will find a way to automate this in this pack. I know there were some supporting mods that used to automate this for us, uh, but we'll have to find out a way to do that, which shouldn't be too difficult whatsoever. Okay. This dude just stopped burning. All right, so we got the... I guess the, the Flux Crystal's there. We can go ahead and make up a whole bunch of the, the ME glass cables. Perfect. All right, and then uses here. We need to combine this up with some wool. And we should have quite a bit of wool for it. Yep, here we go, bam. Cool, so we can make 32 of the ME dense cable right now, and then a little bit more. And then we're gonna turn it into the smart cable so we can see what's going on. Bam. So that means we got a total of 44 now. Um, I would prefer to have a little bit more, but real quick, let's see here if there's a way to do it. Mm, oh, the create mod. That could be good. How about you? Is there a way to craft you other than? Yeah, okay. All right, so auto crafting, we should probably set it to like a custom color. Um, let's see here. What do we want to do? Let's do auto crafting at a cyan. All right, that should be more than enough here to go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead, wrap these around. Bam. Okay, so we got 40 of those. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some more ME controllers here. Okay, we need the pure Fluix crystals. All right, pure Fluix crystals are done, Ski. Let's go ahead and get quite a few of these guys crafted up. Total of seven, okay. So I don't know if this is still a thing, but we're gonna try it out. Okay, and then if we go one up here, does it freak out? Nope, doesn't freak out. Okay, okay. So we can go wrap around up to here. That should be good. We could also hide this as well, so we just have it completely wrapped around. Um, but we're missing... Oh, Skystone. All right, we got more of those made up now. Ooh, okay. Okay, so those are working. If we were to go ahead and do this... Oh, that works. Okay, perfect. So all we need to do here, oh, it did connect. Amazing, perfect. So now we can put different channels connecting to the back of this. Oh my gosh, this is getting a little hard to control here. Okay, so this should be outside, right? Yeah. We'll have to use a cable facade on this to hide all the cables. Okay. All right, so we got access here to the very back of this thing. Uh, so what we're going to want to go ahead and do is grab one like that, and then we're going to kind of go over here. Now, we do need to place a cable anchor so that this doesn't connect up. So let's do that. I need to desperately make the free runners uh, for mechanism so I don't die. 
Yeah, these guys here. These aren't the... Oh, wow. That's not difficult to make whatsoever. Let me do that real quick. All right. Free runners are ours. These are going to replace our boots and prevent me from taking fall damage. So now we do this. We fall down. Yeah, no more, no more taking fall damage. These just use power. So now we're good. So if we do this... Yeah. Very cool. So let's grab some cable anchors here. I believe I have a few. We got four. We're going to need some more eventually, but we shouldn't have to worry about it now. Okay, so we need to get here, place it on this face. Bam, as you can see, that blocked it from being used. Yep, just like so. And then now we're going to run a cable. Um, let's see, where is this compared to the... Oh, it's right there. Okay. So break this guy. You're not here anymore. All right, we need to get in here to break that cable. Yep, perfect. All right, and so now we should see two channels being used. Amazing. This is actually like really hard to control. We're moving so fast. It's almost not even fun. So here's the ME interfaces here. Um, let's place them in. So we do need a few more molecular assemblers, but if we look here, should have quite a few more, yeah. So how many channels are being used? Eight, eight of 32, okay. Five plus eight, 13, yeah. So if we place this here, then we'll get the other ones. And five, 11, five. Okay, let's see. Five plus 11, 16. Oh wait, yeah, five, 11, five. That's 21. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6. I don't understand this. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> How do we have 21 channels being used? We only have. Ah! Okay, we got the whole thing working. Each one of these is powered and connected to the network, so we don't really have to worry too much about it. Now we need to do this side. And with the knowledge that we have. Going from over here, we know that we don't need this top cable uh, to be connected. We know it's not doing anything, so we can go ahead and fix that. Okay, so let's go ahead, get the molecular assemblers from the right side crafted up here. Now we need the right guy here, which we don't have any flux dust, so we can make that. All right, got some glass made up here so we can make the ME interfaces. We need a total of 16 of these guys, and then we're probably going to need a, a whole heck ton more after that as well. Okay. It's 11, 16. Okay, this is just for the wall here, or the little crafting section. All right, so that finally looks better. I actually really like that a lot. So let's go ahead and get those bad boys connected. Whatever we go. All right, so connect the cable over here. Going to place the anchor on this wall. Perfect. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we break these guys down here. P place, place, place. Actually, we don't need this cable. All right. 16 channels. Perfect. Maybe we just need to refresh it or something on the other one. All right, so place you, place you. We're going to need to put... The, the cover is over there, so it looks better. But yeah, these are connected here. Oh, look, 16. 5, 11, 5. I don't, I don't get that. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay. So the crafting walls are almost done. There we go. Looks better. Looks better, man. All right, so these guys are good. These guys are good. Now to work on 
automate it. We're going to first try to automate the 64K guy so that everything has something to do. So let's see, what are we missing here? We don't have a way to make pure Certus Quartz or the Certus Quartz dust. So what that means is we need an enricher and a crusher automated. So we need our enriching factory here and our crushing factory there as well, right? Crushing factory? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be working right here. Um, and we're going to kind of break it off like this here, having two machines um, kind of inset back one block. Put these both right here. We're probably going to put these on different tiers. Um, what we actually need... Okay, so we're going to put like a green accent there, and then we're going to put the next round of machines above, ooh, above here. So what I want is for the enriching factories to be at one level, and then we're going to have two crushing factories at another level. And we're going to just kind of go from here. So this gives us quite a few faces to work with on that one. And then if we go here, we have quite a few faces to work here, like getting power to it and stuff like that. Um, so, because if we were to put these flush, we'd have one wall, or one face, really, to get everything where we want it. And it wouldn't look this cool. I don't think it'd have enough depth. So now we can run power, like, along the right side to these guys so that they don't have anything. And then if we find a way to do it later, which I actually, now that I'm looking at it, we could just put this guy here. So we're going to do that. Oh, bakaby. So we have, I actually have two basic enriching factories over here. We're going to be having a fun time with those. And I've actually got a cable already run over here, the ME Dense smart cable. So we're going to see if this is still a thing. Okay. Oh, it is. We don't need to go. Well, we might need to go up higher, so we're going to leave it. So if we just go bada bing, bada boom. And three, two, 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 one, 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 one. Psst, got a blast. There it is. Look at that. There we go. So these are all connected. So what we need to do is configure to be input, output, and eject on. And then we configure input, output, and eject to be on. And then this one's going to be up top, the purple. Yeah. And then this one's going to be up top as well. Yeah, very, very cool. So we're going to put items in and take items out. And depending on what item or what pattern we have in here, it's going to push it in, and then this is going to go and push it back out. Perfect. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is get a flux point set up. I've gone ahead and upgraded these cables to the triple tier so that we can go ahead and get this party parted. And bam, now these have power. They have internet connection, basically. <gasps> They're ready. What the Frick happened here. Oh, I messed up. This is my fault. That's what the frick happened here. Turtle got involved. Okay. It's mended. So let's take a look here. Can we see it in the ME interface? Basic crushing factory, basic enriching factory. Very cool. Okay, so then if we switch this over to processing, we take some Certus Quartz. And do we have any pure Certus Quartz left? We sure do. We go like this. We put one in here, one in here, and we're done. So let's put it into the enriching factory and then try to craft it up. Oop. So pure Certus Quartz, here we are. Craft, let's say, 101 of them. All right, let's take a look. Oh, <gasps> guys. It works. Now it's not very fast, but it freaking works. We need to put the, the upgrades. And... Eject on. Oh, yep, that was it. Okay. Did I make sure? Eject was... looked like eject was on other than that one. Yeah. Okay, so that was the issue we were having. But look, freaking auto-crafting. I'm also going to go ahead and replace this with some micro blocks. I don't want that big old block to be blocking. <laughs> big old block to be blocking our view. So we're going to do it twice here. That way we have just a wee little guy. Oh, that's not the right direction. All right. Then shift click to rotate. Bam and bam. Yeah, that is looking cool. Okay, so crushing factory. Let's go ahead and make one up for quartz. 
Get those out of there. All right, and then, yep, we do have some nether quartz dust here. Badink. All right, basic crushing factory, and let's try to get some quartz dust made up. This means as we're one step closer. Oh, no crafting CPUs available. Okay, so this is still going. We need to make another one of these. Um, we actually should put these up here already. With this, though, it's going to be a lot easier to go ahead and get some, some of this set up. So that's moving along. Oh, KB. So we do, we need to make the quartz glass like so. All right. And then we can go ahead and make the 64K. That's from immersive. This guy. And we're going to cancel this guy so we can go ahead and make up some processors. All right, now we're going to wait until these guys are done. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a really helpful one as well. If you just get like a, like say a smelting one, you could just hit the plus here and it'll go ahead and fill it in for you, even though it is a processing one. So I did go ahead and add in two basic smelting factories. So we can go ahead and do this. So if we look here, bam, super cool. And the processors should be done. Yep, we can go ahead and make the crafting, if I can type correctly, crafting boy. Uh, yeah, so the crafting unit here, we made five of those. Okay. So that's definitely good. Uh, so we have the 64K here. We're also going to make a co-processing unit. I believe this helps with simply just helping with the ores. I actually need to look in. I, at one point, I knew off the top of my head, but as of now, I have forgot. So we're going to put these here like that. We're going to connect these up with one more 64K. Let's see if we can go ahead and craft it up here. 64K, perfect. All right, that should be working here. Yep, as you can see, we're crafting up all of the processors that we need. And this is what we wanted that for. So other than the quartz glass, I believe everything else is pretty much automated. Um, silicone's been automated. Uh, yeah, so we have the, the quartz dust, but we need to go ahead and automate the, um, the sand. So we do have that crusher. Um, what we can go ahead and do is actually do the now. So we hit uses on cobblestone and go to the crusher here. Um, yeah, so we can take gravel and cobblestone go like this go like this okay so we craft up gravel and then we look at the uses for gravel with the crusher right yep and then gravel turns into sand this is going to be a multi-part doohickey and then sand goes into glass so now technically if we go, we're going to split these up. Okay. Oh, I thought I shift clicked it in. Okay. So why is only one crusher online? Did we lose one? So gravel here, sand here. They were, oh, they were both online. I'm not sure why we only saw one. And then we can put the sand here. Okay, let me take a look again. Yeah, they're there. Okay, they're both there. So the reason that we go ahead and put these in separate ones is because we don't want to wait. Say we, we try to craft up a thousand sand. This would have to process all of the sand or all of the gravel first from cobblestone, and then it would switch over to sand. But if we have these in separate ones, while it's crafting up the gravel here, as soon as we get one gravel crafted up from the crusher, it'll th immediately throw it into the uh the, the other crusher to be smelted or crushed into sand and then it switches over and, and gets smelt into glass so it's it's multi-step and that is what the co-processing units are for um so this holds the crafting recipe this allows it to be crafted up in multiple steps so while one th thing is technically being crafted it'll craft another one as well so that just helps store more information so we're going to go ahead now 
grab that 64K boy that finished door didn't finish up. Yeah, we're still waiting. All right, so with this boy crafted up here, uses, bam, we can go ahead and get this guy all squared away. Shabing, as you can see, that switched over to kind of a connected texture there. And now, um, oh, we're out of cable. Oh no, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so we need to craft you. Going to pump you up. Here we go. So quartz fiber. All right, so that's going to be crushed. It's always so awkward when you go to uh, jump and you miss the elevator. You're just like, eh. Everyone thinks you're an idiot, trust me. Okay, so we need to get a little, can't talk. We need to get the cable. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Cable. Oh my gosh, I'm so weird. Okay, so we made six of those. That is significantly twenty-five. Okay, that was a bit more than I thought it was going to turn out to. We're out of wool. Okay, so to get this connected up for now, I'm going to be using the cable. The cable. Okay, so zero. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so difficult to manage. Oh. Okay. So the reason we want the 64Ks is because this, this, this guy over here can only hold 1K worth of items. This can hold a 20... 128k worth of items, 128,000. So 1,000 to You tell me which is greater. Clearly 1,000 is. So that's why we're going to get rid of it. Um, but let's see here. What do we? What bottleneck are we hitting when we hit 11? Certus Quartz Dust. Oh, you know, might as well. Because everything else, I believe, is crafted up. What do you mean recipe has no output, you dingus? Oh, probably need to throw this in. All right, there we go. Bam. So we can throw this in the other crusher, like so. So now if we go ahead and do 64K, yes, everything is crafted. And, yep, it doesn't go in here. It goes in here. Very cool. So now that that's in there, let's go ahead and work on some speed upgrades here real quick. Some speed and some energy upgrades. Okay, so we got some speed upgrades and some energy upgrades. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just simply shift click these guys in, like so. That one's already been upgraded, so here you go. All right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That one's upgraded all the way, it looks like. Could use some more of those. More speed upgrades for everyone. So as you can see, yeah, that's moving along pretty quick, which is exactly what we want. And then we also... Okay, so we need some more speed upgrades as well. All right, so these have all been pretty much maxed out with speed and energy upgrades. So these things are going to be blazing quick. Now, the only thing we need to upgrade after that is the actual tier of it. So it'll unlock another slot because now we have three here. Uh, we have three, as you can see, and then it'll unlock more of these. I believe the purple tier, the ultimate tier, has eight slots. So yeah, the process is a whole lot. These ones have five. So just upgrading simply to these guys would be amazing. So, yeah. Um, but let me check how much time we got for today's episode. Oh, man, we are kind of out of time, guys. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. We did some very productive things today, guys. We got a lot of good stuff done for the auto crafting and got this really cool, really fast jetpack. So, oh, my gosh, I'm really excited about that. But, anyways, guys, I hope to see you all in the next episode. You guys are amazing. And remember, stay crafty. But, guys, I'll see you next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.